So what we've uh, what we've done over the past several years is uh, you know we've worked very very hard to manage our costs on the um, on both current employee health care and also on the retiree health care side. You know if you look at the the uh, cost uh, the growth of health care expenses really over the past ten years throughout the uh, throughout the country and then compare that to the uh, to the growth in expenses of healthcare here in the city. I think that anybody would, would see and say that uh, not only do we at the city level provide uh, very, um, uh, very uh, uh, benefits that dignify the, uh, the human being and the individual, but at the same time we've done a really good job at containing costs over time. And so, you know, there's no magic wand, there's no silver bullet to it. It's a lot of hard work just managing every single dollar that comes in and managing every single dollar that comes out. What you need is to surround yourself by a professional team, you know, folks that are minding every cent and crossing every crossing every T to make sure that you can stay ahead of the curve and adopting innovative programs so that you can you know, minimize your cost while at the same time maximize the care. Thank you. Well, currently in the city, you know, about 78 million, so that's about 10% of the budget goes towards our retirees and health benefits and so on and so forth. About half of the budget goes to the school department. So what we need to do is go back to the table. And I like this round table type of discussion, um, although we've got to pick the table. And we need to get people back to the table that are going through this. Okay, many times we're making these decisions without the correct people at the table. All right, budget line items, can be created. Okay, a lot of times the state and the city have certain budget lines that are there, and people think that they say they didn't have to stay there forever. Well, the people rule. Okay, this is not a dictatorship. The people rule. So we need the people to come back and tell us what's important to them. Okay, and if this is an issue that's important to them, which it seems to be, we need to bring people back to the table and stop with that. Thank you, Mr. Dilby. Well, being the only retiree at the table from the city of Providence and from the school department, I would have to say that the city has maintained a cost-effective retirement plan for the, uh, for the school department, for the city uh, personnel. I have to say that uh, with regard to the dental insurance, which is the portion of that retired or that my classification pays, they have managed to keep the price competitive. Uh, within that area. I do have to agree though that uh, in looking at the benefits, that they have to be the people at the table that are receiving those benefits that are making decisions for it. We have to have a say in what those benefits and what that price structure is. And not have it be determined by some outside group or from the, uh, from the current uh, people in finance to say what those benefits will be. We have to have some location, some seat at the table to say what they are buying for us and how they can we can better be served by those type of benefits. Thank you.